All right, now we're back, and I have the fabulous Imani Aisha with me again. Say hi, Imani. Hey, hey, ladies. How you guys doing? I told you all I was bringing her back. Seriously, real talk. We're talking about building a business, not whining, griping, and complaining, standing through the hard times, making stuff work out, dealing with all the drama, and what is one of the biggest, oh, God, areas of struggle for many women in business it's this whole thing about balance we'll talk about why i don't like that word later but it's this whole thing about balance building your business and dealing with issues with your spouse and this is imani's expertise and that's why we have her on here i want you guys to know there are going to be four segments where we're going to be breaking the details up for all of the different areas that seem to be prominent when it comes to the struggle of building your business and dealing yes. with your relationship. So I'm just here. I'm just here to soak in some of the wisdom and the knowledge with you too. Imani, before yes. we begin, you want to kind of talk to them and you got this discussion and I'm just here participating. That I feel like we go, we going to have a, a conversation. You know, you yeah. guys have experienced August to the, to the fullest in this podcast and you already know, you know, that she, she loves the, the conversational engagement and I'm right there with you. So yeah, jump in, chime in. I'll always love your perspective and your insight. Hey ladies, thank you for joining me again. Um, for those of you who Maybe you didn't catch the, the first one of mine with my introduction. I'm Imani Aisha, as August said, and I am really, I'm a wife, I'm a mompreneur um, of a brand new two-year-old who's trying it, um, <laughs> who's asserting her independence, okay, at two. And um, I am a creative spirit. I am animated, goofy um, woman and... Um, it's at this time it's almost thanksgiving so i'm getting ready to have some uh plant-based vegan food don't hate on me don't feel bad for me I'm <laughs> <laughs> but what i'm passionate about is it's is about family and bringing together the foundation of that family which is as we know the couple okay yeah. um for many reasons but um that's what i do and i i'm in the in the the business of as they say of, of saving marriages but not just from that ultimate thing you think of when you think oh my god i need to save my marriage but from that mediocrity and from that complacency and from that you know mundane routine where you don't feel connected you don't feel joy and so that's been my mission i mean that that's what i'm out here doing even real talk even when i don't feel yeah. like showing up you know that is why i still show up because i know someone needs it you know that was powerful and i number one i love the fact that you just insert all of you i love <laughs> i'm serious just, hey i ain't hating and if i could do it and i i need to come and spend some time with you because if i could you know really make some really good plant-based vegan dishes then maybe i would come on maybe i would convert <laughs> <laughs> you said i want a turkey leg and some mac and cheese i get it it's <laughs> at least do some dressing you know <laughs> But seriously, I love that you insert your personality and that freedom of being who you are. All of that is, is awesome. But I just want to reiterate, ladies, you're not just listening because you're on the brink of divorce. Right. You're listening because you're going through the motions. A lot of you are in a state of mediocrity. There's, a, there's, not, there's no satisfaction right. in your relationship, and that's, and that's not cool. And, and that's what we want to prevent we want to prevent you from even getting anywhere near the separation or the divorce and right. so go ahead and just dig into what this looks like this whole thing with with this topic and, and let me go ahead and, and state the title as it was given it's because <laughs> it's because it was it's awesome i like it it's how to rethink your time in your biz and your bedroom Hmm. Discussing how to find harmony between biz time and boo time. Why, Imani? Why did you say, why did you even title it like this? Come on. You let's know what? I can tell you exactly why I did that. Um, because one of the major things I get, and I know you get this too, because we have this space where what you do and what I do really overlap. Yes. Um, 
and they're like, you know what? I just, I spent all my time thinking about my business and you know, my husband just doesn't get it. And I've got to do this for my business and this for my business. And you know, when we're talking, there's the pillow talk and shop talk and, you know, it's just, and you know, I just don't have the time to make, you know, this a priority, to make that a priority because he doesn't understand that I'm trying to do X, Y, and Z. And so there's so much emphasis on the business, which I get, we're here to build the business. We're here to be our business. But in underlining that, they're like, but yeah, you know, I still want to have a good marriage. I was like, well, er, let's stop the tape for a second <laughs> and rewind it. Because if that's really what you want, all that stuff you said before about all of your time and your energy being focused in on your business, all of it, mm-hmm. there's not, there's not that, you're not going to get that harmony that you want. So right. what, what's got to change? You know what I'm saying? Now, so let's, let's like dig into the whole, like beasting your business. I know mm-hmm. that a lot of women, let's really think about this. You, you say that you're beasting your business because you want to bring your husband home off of a job or mm-hmm. maybe your husband whom you have this anxiety with is actually working more than one job because he believes in your dream more than he may show you. You know, we as women, we kind of have these tendencies to be like, he doesn't support me or he doesn't believe me. And so that's another reason why you're beasting because you also got this thing you're trying to prove. I'm going to get out here. I'm going to beast. I'm going to build this business. I'm going to make all this stuff happen. And I'm working, 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 working. And then you're telling yourself, and then Mm -hmm. after I get to a certain level, then we'll be able to bring this all back together and have this beautiful relationship. And you and I know it doesn't work like that. You're shaking your head already. I'm just like, come on now. Because you, because the, 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 that thinking is like, okay, so I'm going to press the pause button on my marriage. And I'm going to do this business thing. And then in about three years, I'm going to press play. And it's like, what? Because if you want to retire, you mentioned, right? Mm-hmm. The first thing that came to my mind, if you want to retire your, your, your husband and have him be home, you want to travel more together. I'm like, you're going to have to feel connected or else you're gonna, he's going to drive you nuts when you get home. You're going to find out he's home and you don't want him to be there. Or yeah. you're on vacation and you're like, well, well, we don't have anything to talk about besides work, right? And so if all of these things, these are the things that you want, how do you really foster that, right? And so it's counterproductive, you know, and we don't always think about that because we know how important our businesses are to us, but it is, it's counterproductive. Yeah, and we end up becoming like the stereotypical male that we see in a lot of movies that worked really, really hard to afford their wife all of the luxuries. And she's like, but you're going to have it all. We don't want this anymore. And they have the big house. They have the big mansion. But then they're always all alone. Exactly. And the Mm. crazy thing is, while we're all stepping into our feminine power and women are taking the lead with beginning, you know, stepping into entrepreneurship we're building and we're beasting, but the fiber of the family is being torn down. And that, and it's all because of that lack of intimacy. And it's so funny, right? Because it's technically true, but stereotypically we're all, it's always emphasized that the woman is the natural nurturer. Mm-hmm. We're the ones who are naturally intimate. So mm-hmm. ladies, are we going to ignore what we're really feeling? You know, while we're beasting our business, you know, you don't want your boo to come in. You know, kiss you on the back of your neck while you work. You don't want no distractions, baby. Right? I mean, you know, help me, help me yeah. out. <laughs> you, you, I know you do, ladies, for real. And, 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 oh man, you know, and we get it. We're married and we are building and growing our businesses. But I'm like, we, we, we need our booze. We need certain things as, as women as well um, to really feel whole. You know what I mean? How, how, how long can you go with just these pieces? You know what I'm saying? Without feeling like, okay, I'm working towards the whole. Because I can't tell you how many wives tell me, well, we just don't have time to spend together. It's like, well, you got married to be with the person, right? And we forget those things. Like we, and they literally say, we don't have time to spend, to, you know, spend together. I, you know, honestly, I had one woman tell me, I don't have time to, you know, make my husband a priority. And I was just like, it, it, and, and I hear it and I understand it. And I was just like, oh, that's so sad. You know what I mean? It's uh-huh. just, it's like, man, and that's real for so many households. Like you're not alone if that's you ladies. No, you're not. But so the, so the question is what's really going on then, you know, right. you know, we, we're, we're saying all of this stuff, but 
this is where you this you you dig in. What's what's really going on, Miss Imani Aisha? You know what? There there's there's several things when it comes to you know um, time, and my cousin will say this because she's part of the Beehive. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, those are people that follow <laughs> Beyonce really heavily. Yeah. And they were like, she was like, you got the same hours in the day as Beyonce, you know, and there's like this idea that she gets it all done. But the reality is that women, one of the things we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to get everything done. And so you're not really looking at, okay, what are my actual intrinsic priorities, like family, career, mm -hmm. you know, my marriage. And what are these things over here that where I spend my time? Like what's what's in this column B? And how many of those places in column B where you spend the majority of your time, how many of them can you actually match up with something that's in your top intrinsic priorities? Ooh. I know, I know you want to pause on that, don't you? <laughs> well, I mean, because now so our what we do, it does overlap, you know, yeah. but just from just the bit operating your business period as as a as a person who works very heavily on mindset and strategy you know I always talk about being busy versus being productive yes uh, so you know and I and I love a mentor that I had probably about god it's been like almost 10 years he always made the comment he was like anybody could be busy just go outside and cut your grass with a pair of shears you know <laughs> what, what you doing like you said is it really that yeah. important is it really right. what's the value you know, right. it because I know a lot of you ladies, I mean, real talk, I'm kind of flipping the script just a little bit. Mm -hmm. You ain't really beasting your business. You're just doing a bunch of busy stuff and you have no direction and you're desperate and you're anxious to make something happen and you're going into overhaul yeah. trying to make this thing work and you're trying to prove something, but everything that you're doing it has minimal to no value. There are very basic key things that you need to be doing in your business yeah. to take it to the next level. And there, and, it, and to be honest with you, the things you need to keep the intimacy hot in your relationship, they're very basic key fundamental things too. You yeah. guys are complicating this. Absolutely. You know, complicating absolutely. it. Oh, but, absolutely. No, I'm with you. And I love the parallel and even, you know, the, the, you know, I want you ladies to have like a visual. If you even visualize the columns, if you have three top things and then you have this laundry list of where you spend the majority of your time and they're not matching up, then something has to change. And most people don't take, most of you don't take the time to really think about that, to, to take a second yeah, um, to really do that. And I love that you said that you're overcomplicating it, right? So that the, the idea of like, okay, I don't have enough time or I'm too busy that comes up so much is because you are thinking about your time in a way where you're saying, you know what, if I'm going to spend quality time with my husband, I got to plan a date. I got to put on the lipstick and the stilettos. We got to, you know, get a babysitter. We got to, you know, so this, then it becomes, a, <laughs> it becomes a chore. Like now I have a checklist for the time that I'm going to spend with my husband. Mm -hmm. But the reality is that when you are creating your business, and you're looking at the time that you have, you have to start to shift and evolve your marriage so that you're getting that time in even though you're beasting your business, right? So for instance, yes. if you can have, you, what's quality time to you? And can you get that in five minutes? Can you get it in 15 minutes? Can you maybe have, you know, throughout the day, three, mo three, you know, 15, I'm not saying it has to be scheduled unless that, you know, you type A and that's your thing, but 15 minute intervals where you're like, you know what, I'm got no shop talk. I'm going to stop this. We're going to, you know, spend some time. I'm going to send you, you know, a cute selfie. We're going to, whatever the case is to be able to create that. But most people, they think, oh, I've got to spend time. It's got to be two hours, three hours. Right. We got to go to the movies. Like we got to plan a date night. I'm like, you know, you're putting time in a box, and so you have to evolve mm -hmm. that and, and change it up, you know? You know you got me over here about to explode. I'm trying to keep myself together. <laughs> go ahead. No, go ahead. Because it says we're thinking your time and your business in your bedroom, and I'm, what I'm sitting here thinking as you were talking is that there are a lot of ladies where it's like part of the problem is when you met your boo, it was like, hey, you had all the time in the world for mm -hmm. them. And, you know, it was like when I'm at work, I'm at work. But when I'm with my boo, I'm with my boo. But now it's like when I'm with my business, I'm with my business. And, and where does my boo fit in? And now when I'm with my boo, I'm, it's like you're yeah. thinking about it like a business. And so how right. do I fit that time? And so it's stuffy. 
Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and it's not fun. And and exactly. so I hear you saying the, the simple things. You yeah. Know, the last time, you know, you sent a text message that said, hey, T-shirt. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> if they know better, you know, we all grown up in here. Yeah. You know that if you we were cracking a joke about this when we were on your sip and share. That's a whole nother other thing for you guys to find out. Oh, about. Yes. That's off the hook. But a joke was cracked about this old school song by Dina Howard, T-shirt in my panties on. So yes. you sending a text message to your boo and you talking about some, you know, T-shirt, if that's part of the language that you know, because maybe you both are like music heads. They would get the gist of that and they would know right. that. And something yeah. like that, that's the kind of that's the kind of thing that I have him wanting to run home to you and be like, baby, I know you only got about 15 minutes, but let's do I, this. You know, <laughs> and, and people don't like to hear a conversation like that because I know I'm kind of going somewhere all the way left field again. It's all connected though. No, you're good. I see but, it. <laughs> but but the thing about it is everything in your life you making it to be way more than it has to be. It's got to be like a movie scene where you sweating for four or five hours and you know you knocking <laughs> over a lamp, you know, or something like that. When the table sweep, yeah, you know. You know when, when you got variety, you got yeah. variety in, in the ways that you can show up in your relationship. And so what you want, it doesn't take all that. And like right. a prime example, last night. I'm like, okay, for those who know what's going on in my life right now, I have done something that's insane. At the time that this podcast is being featured, I just launched it. Yeah. And I, I'm going to do an episode every day for the Ooh. first 30 days. And when I tell you I launched a boot camp, I have an academy, I have one-to-one clients, I am faithful to serving the free market by going live on my business page or personal page. And I'm sitting here recording and doing all this work. I had a horrible experience with a VA. And unfortunately, right now, the time it takes to find another one, while we're in the transition of getting ready to move to Atlanta, it's not worth it. Until we leave and get settled, I am busting my tail all day, every day. But you want to know what I did yesterday? I told my husband, I was like, baby, could you please just sit down and let me lay my head on your lap? And I said, make sure I'm up by 2 o'clock because I had a recording at 2.30. And I ended up passing out for about Mm. an hour and a half. Mm. And I I loved it. And then the other day, it was like, you know what? When the last time we watched a movie? Because I'm not a TV person. So we sat down and watched the Netflix original. And it was good, y'all. It's called Message from the King. I mean, I was like, oh, that I'm sorry, I didn't put a movie out there. That better be <laughs> advertisement. But, still, <laughs> right, but, free advertisement. <laughs> but we sat down and you know, just I had me like a, a Mike's Hard Lemonade, just kind of chilled out. And right. there was no like there was no sexual intimacy, but that was very intimate for me. Oh, yes. That that the math power, is intimate. Yeah, that powered me up. So now I'm back up the next morning doing a bunch of recordings and Beast in my business, I already sent some messages to some people, but this is what it looks like. And right. you guys got to think, men ain't that complicated. Oh, no. We the ones that's complicated. They yeah. just need to know you still think they fine and you want them. Yes. Just just let them know they feeling good. They're feeling validated. You're feeling validated. Absolutely. And and all of that is intimate, August. And you, you mentioned a laundry list of things you have to do for your business, and you still infuse that time with your husband. And so for the ladies, so the important, the, the takeaway, is for the ladies who are out here who are like, oh, I'm so busy, I got to do this. I have, you know, look, baby, I got 18 things on my plate. And instead of using that excuse to say, look, baby, I've got 18 things on my plate, that's why I don't have time for you, <laughs> you know, because that's really what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Maybe you don't see it, but it definitely most likely looks like that to them as well, which causes other issues in your marriage. When you say, look, I've got all this, that's why I'm not spending time with you. You look and say, i got all this, but you know what? I'm going to take an hour out and we're going to do X, Y, Z, or I'm going to take 15 minutes and we're going to do X, Y, Z. We're going to sit on the couch and chill or, you know, we're going to whatever. We're going to have a smoothie together in the morning. I'm going to get up, you know, 15 minutes earlier, right? And so you, the, the mindset has to shift where you're like, how do I, how do I, not yeah. that I can't, but how do I infuse more time and rethink the fact that, hey, it doesn't have to be three, four, five, seven hours. It doesn't exactly. have to be 24 a whole day. You, you know what I'm saying? It just has to be. Yes. And if you think to yourself, how do I infuse that every day? 
it's not so daunting when it might be five, 15, 10 minutes for you to think like, oh my God, I have to beast my business and I got to spend time with you every day. I got to do something. <laughs> I got <laughs> <I've> to <laughs> nurture our marriage every day. You know, it doesn't feel like this burdensome thing because it shouldn't, right? It no. Shouldn't no, it so, is. No. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. No, I was just gonna say for me personally, I find that my creativity is higher. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and sometimes now me and my husband, we do work together. But before we got to this place, because he wasn't really all in at first, it was I'm a man. And I got to get out here and work hard for mine. And it's, you know, where it's like, wait a minute, you know, entrepreneurship is hard. <laughs> Whereas now what we do, we work really, really hard and really intimately together. But some of those times and those moments where I'm like, I got to beast my business. I got to do this. I got to do that. When a lot of times the, the healing, the, the secret sauce is to just step away. Absolutely. And I then, agree more. And then he's like, you know, what's wrong? And I'll be like, honestly, this is driving me crazy. Mm-hmm. And then I talk to him. And he's like, oh, okay, well, have you ever just thought about this? And I'll be like, are you serious? That's what did I think of that? And then, bam, that one thing that seemed to have its hold on me and would have probably had me sitting down for another 30 minutes to an hour by just talking to him for 10 or 15 minutes, he gave me the remedy in less than two. And mm-hmm. guess what? Were you really thinking about where I'm going to find that 15 minutes that Imani's talking about? Because some of y'all are sitting here saying, I ain't got 15 minutes. There's your remedy. Mm -hmm. You know, taking the time to step away, to pick up that phone and say, what you doing, baby? I don't even want anything. I just want to tell you that I see you working hard, you know, and I really, really appreciate it. Once again, that's the kind of thing that'll make him come home and be like, so you need me to rub your feet while you're sitting in in that chair? Let that me- goes a long way. I do that all the time. <laughs> that goes a long way to just acknowledge somebody and let them know that you appreciate them because you would want that. You know, yeah. as hard as you work in to, to grow and build your business, right? And so it's definitely, I mean, and I, and I love it. And just, you know, date, date, your, date your spouse. Yes. And like the same, you know, box thing, don't put that in a box either. Because yeah. like, like I always say, people say date night. And I never say that because I know that makes people feel like, oh, God, we got to go out at night. I got to get the babysitter. We got to, you know, break out the dust off, the literally dust off the pumps and, you know, all of that. <laughs> but, I mean, you date, just date. That might be a morning breakfast. That might be an afternoon, uh, you know, lunch, delight, in between, in the middle, something. It might be something in the evening. It might be bath time at night because y'all both tired. It might just be listening to music in your bed you know, before you go to bed, you know, so that you're not having the TV on. It might just be a movie at night while you're in your bed about to go to sleep. But whatever that is for you, it has to work for your relationship. I don't care what Tommy and Sue are doing. Tommy and Sue are not you, right? So when you look at Tommy and Sue, like Tommy and Sue go on a date night every week. Well, maybe every week doesn't work for you. Exactly. (laughs) You know, maybe you, you're doing something different. Go ahead. No, and I was getting ready to say what you just said right there is paramount. And I remember that there was a time when, you know, that seemed like to be the thing. Oh, it still is. You know, okay. And maybe it's just because I don't roll in the same circles anymore. So I don't hear certain things. And I used to hear it all the time at church. You know, you got to show your spouse that you love them. And I'm committed. And every Friday night at 7 (laughs) p.m. without fail, I go on a date with my spouse and show them that I love them. And I'm going to tell you something. It comes to you. Yeah, a beautiful thing that you said, but it's yeah. an online coach with a very unpredictable feel, even though I'm a time fanatic and I manage my time, there are so many things that pop up. I could be sitting here right now and say, you know what, me and my husband, we're going to go on a date. We're going to go on a date on the 28th because I'm launching a class on the 29th and why not celebrate? Let's not, why not pre-celebrate? Cause we know that I'm a rock it out. And then all of a sudden, Two hours before we're supposed to leave, there's a really crazy technological glitch. Yep. And for those of you that really do the online thing hard, it's one of those things like, oh, no, 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 I've got to get this fixed because if I don't before tomorrow's class, there's going to be a problem. And you're just grateful that the person that brought it to your attention didn't ask for their money back. And <laughs> you find yourself working on this and then date night is squashed. 
Sure. And so you, so you can do that. You know, I love it if I can go ahead and go into the kitchen and it's Denny's up in there because my husband had made some turkey bacon and some pancakes. And I'm like, look at my boo. He in the kitchen. I'm going to actually go upstairs and sit at the table and eat as opposed to, hey, can you just bring that to me at the computer because right. you know I'm beasting my business at work. And I got a man mm -hmm. that decided to get in the kitchen who was actually spoiled because I was the one who was always in the kitchen. And yeah. so this is not about beating us up, ladies. We're not saying that there may not be relationship dynamics where it's a little bit more difficult or maybe yeah. he's resistant or something like that. But for a lot of you, you this is hitting your heartstrings. It's pulling it really hard because you know that this is something that you're doing. You're just constantly, constantly back burnering your relationship. And yeah. at the end of the day, my business, the, the real talk, I don't have a no problem saying this. My business can fold. I can accept that. Because I can always start another business and I can always make some more money. But my marriage can't fold. That's, yep. not, that's not acceptable. And this is coming from a woman who's already been married and divorced and mm -hmm. seen what it's like to be in a very shitty relationship. Right. I, I've been with my husband for 11 years. And after all that we've been through, there, the, failure and folding, that's not an option. Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't lose this. Right. But so my question is, do you feel that same way? Do you have that same passion about your relationship? My business can, I'm going to say it again. <laughs> my business can fold today, tomorrow, or whenever. That, yeah. does, that, that doesn't matter because I can start another business and I can make more money. But right. my relationship cannot because I cannot guarantee that I'll ever find another man that I feel as connected to, that I love this way, that our, our hearts and soul are so intertwined. We got kids together. He came into my life accepting my kids. No, 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 no. It, it's not an option. So what, what really matters to you? Yeah. You know, and, I, and I'll say this and I want to pass the baton back, you know, I, I mentioned earlier in the beginning that whole, uh, oh, I'm trying to balance everything out. I don't mm -hmm. do balance. And for mm -hmm. those of you that have listened to me, I even did a podcast episode about that because it's just not real. There's, yeah. no, there's no such thing. There are going to be times when your business is going to need a little extra from you. Your spouse may be going through something on his job and needs a little extra support or something from you. The kids, because they're sick or they're dealing with bullies in school or whatever, they're right. going to need something extra from you. You know, the people in your business, if you're a coach or whatever you're doing, you're, it, there's always going to be something that pulls you. And there just right. there will never be enough hours in the day. You couldn't compartmentalize it if you wanted to. Yep. You, you are beat off the rip based mm -hmm. on the number of hours it takes to sleep and work. The majority of the day is already gone. Mm -hmm. So let's just be real. There is no such thing as balance. Right. I always say I like to find harmony and I mm -hmm. like to maximize moments. I would mm -hmm. much rather... Say to my boo, okay, you know what? <laughs> we know the kids, they're going to fall out. They're going to take a nap at this time. Yeah. Fighting like hell to have some time to be intimate with each other. And I mean sexual intimacy this time. We got 30 minutes. They finna be gone. <laughs> and it's going to be the first 30 minutes that we ever had. Yeah. As opposed to saying, yeah, well, you know, we got to get to the hotel and do all that. No, we all in. <laughs> when your brain is all in the moment. Yeah. It'll be the best you ever had. And, and we, we grown. This yeah. is a sex therapy class, but y'all done been with that Negro that was willing to lay it down for an hour, hour. He was like, wow, you felt like, uh, what, a color purple. He just sitting there, huh, huh, humping on top of you. You know what I'm saying? So it's about the intensity. It's literally... <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm gonna be 100 percent wrong. For you. No, I hear you. I just now I have a visual, so it's it, cool though. Because I want them to see it for real. <laughs> you want it to be amazing, and you yeah. don't want to be like, oh, okay, here he goes. Let me give him a hug and a kiss. So when he comes in the door, pause for just five seconds and just like really lay your head on his chest and be like, baby, I missed you. That's yeah. where that's where the the passion is at. And that ain't even that ain't even. 30 seconds sometimes it's just man and that's and that's where we want you at and that's yeah. where you guys want to be but men are very egotistical and if they don't feel like they the best and they the most desired then that starts chipping away at them and, and so what they will do is they will drown and hide themselves in work and in other activities and as a woman you don't want that yeah but you being a natural nurturer I mean, are you giving? It's reciprocity. Are you giving yeah. you know, what it is that you desire to see? And you want it too. So don't ignore the interest. Don't yeah. ignore the interest. You want to be 
you know, you want your husband to be interested in you, you've got to, you know, be interested in them. And I can't tell you how many women I speak to. And when I get on the phone and we're, you know, we're talking about, you know, working together, or we're working together who want so many things from their husband. And then I say, okay, you know, I want him to be open and vulnerable and this. And I was like, well, how open and vulnerable are you with him? They're like, well, you know, not, not really. So you basically expect him to give you something that he's not getting. Right. And right. so that's not going to happen. And, and, um, and I hear you, a lot of times you have to get it in the intimacy, physical and otherwise in between the stuff. That's how, you know, that's how we roll. You might have a session and you're like, well, that was good. We're getting, you get yourself back together. <laughs> no, I mean, just, that's just, you know, how it goes down because you're in and you, you do, you feel energized, you feel so much better. And in, in the story that you told and your experiences, a few things popped up to me because you talked about you know, we're talking about those in-between moments and what works for you. That's about choices, right? And so you're thinking like, oh, snap, you know, I can't do this. I can't do this. You're making, you're making choices. That's the reality. And that's what we have to own, ladies, that we're making a choice. You're choosing to say, oh, I'm going to do this instead of this. And you chose to say, oh, I'm going to eat with you instead of here. My husband made me breakfast this morning and we sat down and we had breakfast knowing that I had some things I need to do this morning. I'm coming here to, to record this podcast. I have some things that I have to get ready for, um, in the coming weeks. And so that's what we had, you know, that time together. And so it's very important for you to make certain choices and you have to own the choices that you make ladies. So make choices that are going to make you feel good about your marriage because if you're feeling like you said if you're feeling shitty about the marriage and where it's going in the connection then yeah. you have to then re reevaluate the choices right you can't just sit there and be like oh you know whatever um that has to be a part of it and again reiterating what works for you so it might work for you to say i'm gonna take a day off from my business in the week and that's just gonna be for my kids and my husband that might work for you that's cool but instead of looking without look within your own mm. household yes who you are who your husband is and what's really going to work for you don't set yourself up for failure okay by trying to figure out a way to be together that doesn't work for your household because it's not going to last it may never wow. even happen and so right. many people do that right we're gonna we're gonna that thing where we're knowing it's not for them we're gonna have a date night twice a week every tuesday and thursday knowing that's not going to work for their household and how it's run so you're setting yourself up for it not to happen and then you get discouraged and then you say you don't have time make the choices that work for your unique marriage right mm -hmm. and that's always what i try to bring out in people that's what i strive to this is not about what tommy and sue are doing and me telling you you need to go on a date night twice a week i was like well what's going on in your household what works for you where, where are your energetic times where's the time where you feel like you can get that time in where are those pockets um so that's what we look at right and so yes. i want you ladies to to really think about what works for you take take that take that second to to contemplate that and make the choices that are going to bring that about in your marriage. Yes. I love that. So she's basically, you know, interwoven in this entire conversation. We have pulled out what the issue is and what's underneath the issue and some of the things that you need to do. And choices is a big one. You know, real, being all in, being fully engaged, maximizing those moments when you have the opportunity not making it difficult. Sometimes it's five, 10, 15 minutes spurts of intimacy in the relationship. She's the nuggets. They're here. You have to decide to implement them. Now I understand that, you know, implementing them that you're so far gone mm -hmm. that your mind is so clouded. It's like, I hear what they're saying and I know what they're saying is true, you know, but how do I get there? You know, what, what do I do? And that's where I really want them to encourage, I want to encourage them. And you can even talk to them about what it looks like too, to, to, to work with you, reach out to you. I mean, you may even have an offer of whatever you want to give them to help them see that having time for all of these things that is possible. Right. Right. And, and I'll say this too, and, and working with people, right? We talk a lot about, as entrepreneurs, we talk about goals, right? You got your quarter goals, your monthly goals, your money goals, you got a lot of goals. And that gives us, that motivates us, that pushes us, that makes sure that we're, we're moving forward towards something as business owners, yes, as women in business. And what I want to ask you guys is, do you have goals so that you can make these choices? Do you have goals and things that you're working towards for your marriage? 
Hmm. And if that's not, if that's not, if you're not connected to that, you're not going to feel motivated and inspired because if you don't have a destination, you just wandering, you can be pulled any which way. Yes. It's not that solid foundation. And so with any house, right, I love a, ho- a good house analogy, I'm just saying, with any house that has a foundation, for those homeowners out there, ladies, you know that there can be cracks in the foundation, that it can slump, that it can start to corrode, and that doesn't mean that you scrap the whole house, but you've got to get your foundation in order so your walls don't fall down, yeah. because a throw pillow is not going to fix that, you, you know, so it's not going to make it look pretty, but your house is still slanted. Yeah. So, you know, when we work together, the, the, the objective is to really look at, okay, where are the cracks in the foundation that we need to mend so that the walls can stand taller, so that you can put in the furniture and the throw pillows that you want and all those little details that you want to yes. put into your marriage. So you got to have the foundation and you have to have that, that vision for yourself, not just for your business, okay, but also for yourself and for your marriage so that that can stand just as strong while you're building and growing and thriving in your business, you want to thrive in your marriage. And so that's what it looks like, you know, to, to work with me is to say, okay, I'm, I'm working with you, collaborating with you to pull out what it is that you really need to be able to mend the foundation. And that's everything. Absolutely. And I love, that's one of the things I love about the coaching experience with you. Going back to the thing that we said before, it's not going somewhere where someone's saying, okay, so this is what you need to do. You need to restore more intimacy. You need to be more committed. You need to have more time. And the way you have more time, it's one of the things you do that's very ingenious. You need to go into your schedule. You need to block out this time and you need to set that date night or you need to do that unfortunately different modalities encourage you to follow a system that has been set Mm -hmm. whereas with you you're talking about what do you want right you desire and then empowering a person to bring that thing to life you know you guys have just lost a little bit of direction you've lost your way you're having some issues and it gets a little murky and you need that help with finding that clarity. And that's what I love. I've watched you personally to do that for people to bring that clarity in. So we have all of the links on the Real Women Don't Bitch Podcast.com mm. website for you to connect with her. Um, specifically, I, I don't remember. So help me out. Are they opting in for a free B or a free call? Which one is it? In this one with this time episode, I want you guys, I think, because it'll be a beautiful compliment to opt in for that freebie on, you know, more quality time with your boo and seeing what that would look like in your schedule so that you can actually take some of the things that we talked about today and start to put it into action. So you have something tangible for yourself with that. So I think that would be an amazing compliment. And also, if I may, August, um, (laughs) I want to encourage you guys because I I know that that August does and you and I are very similar in this. I want to encourage you ladies reach out, let us know what you think about this episode, what's coming up for you, what you're struggling with, you know, email, you know, August at her email address for the podcast and, and share your, your thoughts because both of us really love that engagement yes. and that, that human element as August talked about. So I just want to reiterate and encourage you guys. I definitely would love to hear when you get them August, I would love to hear what people have to say because this is not just a one stop and you're done and we've given it exactly. to you go on with your life. Like we really do um want to engage with you so definitely reach out to august and and let us know your thoughts on this this episode and um download that freebie to complement this episode for you absolutely and go specifically you know you can make comments here on the on the on the site for the podcast but go to the website because Mm -hmm. there's a host of things there for you reach out there go to the contact us page and if you want to say hey i specifically want to deal with this issue can imani ie should come back you know (laughs) we we can continue to do this for those of you that you know have specific questions period yeah we're we're here to answer and you can find us on facebook too you can find us and connect there depending on what time and season we're in in life will determine you know what groups or you know promotions and stuff like that we have going on but i know that we both are very dedicated to putting out nuggets and information and encouragement you know on a consistent basis and so join us connect with us but absolutely click the link and get your 
figure out how to find some time with your boo. That's yes. not what she called it, but get the opt-in. Basically. Yeah. Figure, look, let's, let's be proactive. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's get out of mediocrity. Let's enjoy yeah. our marriages. I don't want to close it just yet, but this will finalize. This is just segment one. Yes. So, so if you're listening to segment one, then get ready because segment two is coming. Mm-hmm. We ain't done yet because I like you said, it can't be no one-stop shop. We getting ready to dig into all of these issues. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is fun. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. It's always great to have a convo with you, <laughs> Mrs. August Crenshaw. Look, she didn't know I was gonna get nasty, y'all. No. No, <laughs> <laughs> no and I and I am okay with that. <laughs> so, you know, let's, let's, that's what it is, right? You know. Look. No. Look, I, look, I'm so silly. All I kept seeing was biz in bedroom. I was like, hmm, my time <laughs> combo. <laughs> Do the business in the bedroom, okay? But not your business business. Just yes. handle yes. your business. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Yes. All right, yes. ladies. You ain't going to get out of here. We'll see you back for the second segment. All right. Deuces.